Football Facts Presence Top 11 Best Trios in Football History Number 11. Messi Ito, Anri. Though their partnership didn't last for long, the three stars of Barcelona formed a lethal partnership during the season 2008-2009. During that season they scored a total of 99 goals, helping the team to win La Liga, Copa del Rey and the Champions League. That was the first treble for a Spanish club, which was repeated again by Barcelona during the season 2014-15. The partnership didn't last long as Anri had already passed his peak and Ito was sold to Inter Milan after that season. They are still remembered though for their very strong partnership inside the field. Number 10. Van Basen, Gullit, Rijkaard. Between 1988 and 1993 the three Dutchmen were playing for AC Milan forming a strong Italian team which won two Italian championships and two Champions League titles, among many others. Their partnership was proved even stronger during the European Championship in 1988 where the Netherlands lifted the trophy for the first time in its history. Number 9. Giggs Beckham Scholes. All three are products of Manchester United. They lifted United on the success that the team had between 1995 and 2003 winning the Premier League multiple times as well as the Champions League. They were providing the forwards of the team with many assists. They were also scoring double figures during most of the seasons individually. David Beckham had a great record from direct free kicks. Paul Scholes from Long Range and Ryan Giggs from Solo Efforts. Number 8. Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho. Brazil was heading to the World Cup of 2002 and for the first time in its history was not amongst the heavy favorites for winning the title. Brazil had secured the automatic qualification to the World Cup on the final day and was not looking that strong. The truth is that except the three forwards, Cafu, Roberto Carlos, and Lucio, the rest of the squad was not much decorated. Ronaldo was returning from a serious injury, Rivaldo didn't have the best season with Barcelona and Ronaldinho was still a rising star. They went on to form a very strong trio however, scoring 14 goals between them as Brazil lifted its fifth World Cup. Number 7. Busquets, Xavi, Iniesta. One of the best midfield lines that played a very important role on Pep Guardiola's Barcelona. They were keeping control of the tempo with their passing abilities and their control game. Busquets is more defensive as he stops the attacks of the opposition but his abilities with the ball are tremendous. Xavi was more offensive as he was delivering many of the final balls to the offensive line. Iniesta is assisting and keeping the ball. He is a great dribbler and many times, scoring many important goals. The three midfielders achieved everything with Barcelona. Their tremendous abilities had an impact on the national team of Spain as well, as they played an important role on both the World Cup and the Euro Cup campaigns that Spain won between 2010 and 2012. Number 6. Di Stefano, Gento, Puskas. On this case we might be unfair to some of the forwards of Real Madrid that were playing during that time. Real could have been on the trio instead of Puskas for example. Puskas however had formed a more fearsome forward line at Real Madrid. Gento was delivering the ball. The other two were scoring. Puskas arrived in Madrid in 1958, forming a lethal partnership with Di Stefano and Gento helping the team win two European Cups and four La Liga titles. Gento and Di Stefano had already won three Champions Cups before the arrival of Puskas in Madrid. Their partnership however is remembered as one of the best ever. Number 5. Bele, Vava, Guerincha. The Brazilians are famous for their offensive lines. In 1958, a young Pelé would appear on the front line of Brazil with Vava. Garincha was playing on the right flank but he was out of the first two games of the tournament due to a disciplinary offence. 
When he returned on the third game onwards he helped Vavo and Pelé to have a great scoring record as the team went on to win the World Cup. Four years later, the tournament started well for Brazil with the three players making an impact on the opening game. Pelé scored and assisted another one but he was injured and missed the rest of the tournament. Garincha and Vava were magnificent however and Brazil lifted the World Cup for second consecutive time. We have to mention that on the left wing, Mario Zagallo was playing who also played an important role on both World Cups. Number 4. Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema. The current forward line of Real Madrid is considered as one of the best lines ever to feature. Ronaldo and Benzema arrived in Madrid in 2009 and their contribution was immense. They managed to lift Real Madrid and challenge Barcelona, lifting the La Liga trophy in 2012. It was clear however that something was missing from the team. In 2013 Gareth Bale arrived and quickly a very strong partnership was formed. Together they managed to win the Champions League in two occasions and the La Liga title in 2017. Ronaldo might take more credit but the truth is that all three played a very important role on the success of the team. Number 3. Charlton, Law, Best. They were nicknamed as the Holy Trinity of Manchester. When Law and Best arrived in Manchester United, Bobby Charlton was already a big name for the club. Dennis Law arrived first, helping the team win the FA Cup in 1963. That was the first silverware after the Munich disaster. When George Best arrived the trio was magical on the field and soon United became one of the best teams in England. Best and Law were playing on the flanks while Charlton was playing on the centre behind the striker. Together they won two league titles and one European Cup in 1968 which was the first one for an English club. Between them, they scored more than 600 goals and all of them won the Ballon d'Or. Number 2. Messi, Neymar, Series. During the last 10 to 15 years Barcelona had many lethal partnerships on the front line. We already mentioned one earlier. Most of the partnerships are including Lionel Messi. When Neymar and later Suarez joined Barcelona, they formed a partnership that would go on to tear apart the best defenses of Europe. During their first season they scored a combined of 120 goals as Barcelona went on to win their second treble. Neymar is usually playing on the left flank, Messi on the right, while Luis Suarez is playing on the centre. Usually however, they change positions on a very versatile formation that allows them to surprise their oppositions. Number 1. Rep. Cruyff, Kaiser. At the early 1970s Ajax managed to dominate Europe. There were many players that are credited on that success like Nieskens, Ari Hahn and Muren but the trio of these three players was the offensive part which took the total football on the next level. The season that was the trademark of their achievement was is 1973 where Ajax won its third consecutive European Cup. In 1974 all three were part of the Dutch side that went all the way to the World Cup final but lost against West Germany. Total football is one of the most attractive ways of playing and was played at its best by Ajax of that time. Bayat Kaiser and Johan Cruyff won all three European Cups while Johnny Rep took part on the last two. Which other partnerships should have been included here? Comment below. Thanks for watching.